So our first problem from chapter 6 is going to be number 54 in the back of the book. And it's an energy transfer problem. So it's saying that the gas was compressed from an initial volume of 5.55 liters to a final volume of 1.22 liters at a pressure of 1 atmosphere. And during this compression, 124 joules of heat were released. So it's asking us to find the change in internal energy. So we're going to have to use a few formulas and steps to solve the final answer of change in internal energy. Uh, the first thing is, let's look at what the information they gave us. We got a change in volume, we got a pressure. That sounds like the work formula. I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, the work formula. So we know work equals negative P delta V. Then we know that negative, uh, the negative P part is going to be negative 1 atmosphere and the delta V part is going to be the final minus initial as usually, as like the changes are. So V final is 5.5 oh sorry V initial is 1.5 uh, 5.55 so V final is the 1.22 liters minus 5.55 liters. Um, and so that is how we're going to get our work. And if we solve that out, we get that to be... Oh, we also have one step to do with this, right? Okay, we could do it as a separate step or a final step. So how do we, when we solve this out, we're going to get an answer in liter atmospheres. But how do we convert from liter atmospheres to work? And that is by our conversion of 101.3 joules per liter atmosphere. That's an important number to remember. So we have this answer and it's going to be in liter atmospheres. So if we multiply by the 101.3 joules per liter atmosphere, we are able to cancel this out, which is going to be a liter number and that. So that way our final answer will, for work, will end up in joules, is what we need it to be. And it's going to end up being a positive number because we're multiplying two negatives. So it's going to be a positive 438.63 joules. So from there, we have a final, we have our work. And it's 438.63 joules, right? Okay, then what do we do? We also know that 124 joules of heat released is going to represent what? That would be our Q, right? We know it's heat released, and that is our symbol for Q. And we know our delta E formula, what we're eventually looking for, is Q plus work. So at this point, it's just a simple Q plus work. We have the Q and we have the work. We just need to make sure we have the right signs associated with it. So we know that delta, the W part is going to be a positive number, but what is Q going to be? If 124 joules of heat are released, that signifies a negative. So we're going to have negative 124 joules, that's a bad negative, plus a positive 438.63 joules. And after that, our final answer is a 315 joules when we take it out to correct sig figs as our change in internal energy. So once again, V final minus V initial times, per, times pressure to get our work, convert that over to joules using this conversion factor, sorry it's all squished, and then plug the delta, the delta E is going to be Q plus work, right? So Q and work, which we have both of them after that.